Hey everyone! Welcome to part two of my nail care routine. Last week's video focused on my nails and how I take care of my cuticles and in this video I'm going to focus on my diet and the healthy foods you should be eating in order to grow healthier and stronger nails. So first off, I just want to let you know that I am not a dietitian nor a nutritionist. Now since that's out of the way, I'd like to share with you four ingredients in your diet that are very important to grow stronger and healthier nails. For healthier and stronger nails, you want to eat foods that have omega-3s, biotin, iron, and zinc. So I want to go over some of the foods that have omega-3s. Omega-3s you can find in salmon, nuts, flaxseed. Um, biotin you can find in Swiss chard, other vegetables, carrots, and um, a lot of berries. Zinc and iron are very important as well, and you can find those in tofu or soybean, um, also green beans and red meat. I like more vegetables and stuff like that, so I tend to stay away from red meats. Personally, I just feel if you eat natural things such as vegetables and fruits and nuts, you know, things that grow naturally, not processed food like fast food and all that type of food, um, then I just feel like you're getting the most health benefits out of it. You're getting all of these nutrients and all of these important things that you need in order to grow stronger and healthier nails and also better hair and skin and everything like that. Alright, so with nuts you can get a lot of protein out of them and um, they also have a lot of zinc and iron and pumpkin seeds are very important for iron and um, so all of these I try to get raw nuts because that's where you'll get the most nutritional benefits from it so that's what I look for. And then with vegetables and fruits, I always go for organic, especially if you're eating the skin off of the vegetable or fruit, then you definitely want it to be organic because um, you just don't want it sprayed with all of these pesticides and stuff. You don't want that all in there and just, it's not good for you, obviously. I mean, you're eating gross chemicals and I don't know. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Stay away from it. And um, so at Trader Joe's they list it as USDA organic and it has a certified seal and so I always look for those two labels um, and yeah, so that's what I do when I shop. Um, and also I wanted to show you some supplements you can take if you're not really into eating vegetables or fruits because I know I wasn't always into this stuff. I used to love meat and you know, I used to eat at like all these fast food restaurants and obviously that's not good for you but you can change it you can change your diet and become a healthier eater and but if you're not ready for it yet you can take supplements so you can find these at vitamin shop or any type of vitamin store by you um, but yeah so zinc biotin um, omega-3s and flaxseed oil stuff like that is very important and also protein so I have this protein that I got and it's really good and it has vanilla um, I just look for gluten-free and vegan um, substitutes I guess you could say I'm not really sure what the word is but um, yeah that's what it is and I like this one because it's vanilla and I love vanilla so yeah even my guilty pleasures are chocolate and so I get stuff like this, like almonds or pomegranate seeds covered in chocolate, which it's just really good. I mean, you're getting some fruit or nut already, so that's already beneficial. And then it has really good dark chocolate on top of it, and it's just so good. Um, just try not to eat the whole box, which I have a lot of trouble doing that. Um, also, at Trader Joe's, they have really cool bars and what I love is that it says non-GMO, USDA, gluten-free, um, yeah so these are organic bars and they're chocolate and this also has omega-3s and antioxidants which I mean how great is that? Um, so you can even just get a bar and have it um, as a snack and you're getting a lot of different nutrients out of it. So there's a lot of different things you can do in order to be healthier and um, to help with stronger or um, stronger and healthier nails and cuticles also. A few of you have asked me for some smoothie recipes that I've tried. Um, I know I post a lot of pictures of my smoothies on Instagram and so I wanted to share with you one of um, the recipes that I use. And so this one contains spinach which is very good with iron. 
um, strawberries, bananas, um, chia seeds. This also, I mean, look at all these good stuff. It has fiber, fiber, sorry, omega-3 and protein. Um, coconut milk and coconut oil, just so it gives it that coconutty taste, which I just love in the summertime and just anytime really, because I love coconut oil and I mean coconuts. And um, so with coconut oil, you want it to be organic and virgin. Just anything that you really get, you want it to be raw, pure, organic, um, or extra virgin, anything like that. Just you don't want it to be too processed because you don't want it like all these plants. Um, you don't want all of the nutrients being taken out of it when they're processing it in these like factories. That's the word. Um, so yeah. Um, so I'm gonna make this and it's gonna look really good. Um, oh yeah. So these aren't really always meal replacements. You can have them in the morning um, as you know, just a side little good smoothie with some toast or something like that. But it can be a meal replacement if you add protein to it. Um, and coconut oil is a healthy fat and um, also avocados are really good if you're not into the whole coconut taste. Um, so yeah, I mean there's a lot of really good recipes online that you can find and but I just wanted to share with you one of the ones that I like the most because I like sweet stuff as well. So let's get started in making this smoothie. So I like to add my liquids first and then um, any vegetables. So I usually alternate between spinach and kale because um, those are the greens that I like the most. So I just dump my liquid in and then um, whatever greens that I have. And then I'll also dump in my coconut oil. Just get that all in there. And then I just pop it on. All right, so now the coconut milk and the coconut oil and the spinach is all blended. I usually like to leave it for about 30 seconds. And then I'll add anything that's frozen. So I'll go with the bananas. They're a little defrosted now, so they're not really frozen anymore. And my strawberries. Hope this doesn't fall. There we go. And last but not least, my chia seeds. Some people don't like to blend it in, they like to just put it on top for a crunchy feeling. Um, I don't really mind either way, so I just add them in and then blend it, and then it's kind of soft, kind of crunchy, crunchy, so. And now let's taste this yummy little green smoothie. So good. Love it. I have this every morning. Not this exact recipe, but I try to have one every morning. Um, so yeah, I hope that this was all helpful for you guys. Um, I'm really happy that you came back to check out part two. If you haven't checked out part one, there'll be a link at the end of this video. Um, if you forgot any of the information that I already said, I'll also um, try to write it out in the description with more detail. Um, and if you have any questions, just you know, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, just to remind you, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not an expert in this, so I don't know if I'll be able to fully answer your questions, but if you have any, just ask me and I'll try to do my best. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you all found it helpful. If you did, please share it with all of your friends and hit like. Um, yeah, thanks. 